Thank you for calling 976 Lust. I'm Brandy. What's your name? John. Mmm. That's a sexy name, John. You know, I wore something sexy for you tonight. Can you guess what it is? <sighs> uh. I don't, um. Mmm. Well. <sighs> I'm wearing a thin, white t-shirt and tight, cut-off jeans. Oh, but, John, I hope you won't mind. I forgot to wear any panties. Okay. Tell me, John, what are you into? I don't... I don't know. I... Uh... Hmm? Are you getting hard for me? Just give me... I could call in my friend if that's something you'd be into. <clears throat> well, talk to me, John. Tell me what you like me to do to you. I'm so wet right now. Just, just stop! All right. What would you like to talk about? I don't know. Just... Like yeah. And then... Listen, I'll transfer you to... No, please wait, wait, just... I lost my wife last week. Cancer. You still there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry you don't need to say anything. I just needed to talk to someone. This is what happens when you make someone your life. When you make someone your life. What was her name? Sophia. Oh my God, it's so weird saying her name. I remember her eyes. How they shine when she looked at me. You must think I'm a complete weirdo. No. Look, I... I just don't know what to say here, John. It's okay. How long have you been doing this? Seven, maybe eight years. Listen, um, I should probably just let you go. You must have heard a lot of stories. Well, sometimes people just call to talk about politics or sports. Or even just to talk, really. <laughs> How often do you get a sad sack of shit like me? <laughs> nah. We all go through rough patches at one time or another. Actually, you remind me of someone. There was once this old man who kept calling me every day. He told me that my voice reminded him of someone he knew when he was 10 years old. He said that he never had the courage to talk to her. I haven't heard from him in years now, but I wonder what happened to him. Yeah. It's curious how things catch up with us later in life. But I guess there's comfort there in memory. And sadness and regret. You're like a therapist. Well, I... maybe something like that, yeah. So, how are you keeping busy? Work. I'm a tax attorney. Nothing is certain but death and taxes. You start to define yourself after doing something for so long. Yeah, I feel ya. I mean, this was just supposed to be temporary for me too, but... Well... Everything's so temporary, right? 
Okay, look, I'm not apologizing for what I do, and I'm not looking for any sympathy. No, no, I, I, I didn't mean to. I. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> you know, in this line of work, people just always try to save you. You start to view the world in a certain way, and before long, it becomes the only thing you know. Until you hang up. God, so many fucking perverts. Oh, okay. I wasn't supposed to say that. I wouldn't discount the importance of what you do. About eight years ago, I was going through this day. You know, this fucking day. <laughs> and I saw someone that was having a worse day than me. And I opened the door for him. And I... I never do that. Like, I'm, I never open the door for anyone. But you know, I saw him. I really saw him. I figured he didn't notice me. He just walked by, didn't say anything, no acknowledgement. But a few minutes later, he came down and he said that he was going to jump. Jesus. Just one more day, he said. It's always just one more day, isn't it? We go through these things and we suffer alone. We choose to suffer alone. And that makes us invisible to one another. But we talked until the sun came up. Maybe he saw you too. It's the little moments that are the most important, right? Yeah, I like to think so, too. Do you still talk? I heard he took his own life a few months later. I, I don't know why I told you that story. It... You can't save everyone, John. You can't carry the world on your shoulders like that. I like to think we made each other's world a bit better that day. It was one of the great conversations. You know, one of the great ones. And I want more of that. No, well, that's more than most have. <laughs> I feel like I'm falling. Just always so much sadness. It's sometimes hard to breathe. Stay with me, John. You know, I, I'm, I'm still here. Um, so many triggers. Now, these memories follow me everywhere. I remember her lips. I remember her smell. The way she... she <clears throat> the silence, oh God, the silence. I miss my wife. I know. <laughs> Does this get any easier? Honestly, it always hurts. But you'll just think about it less. Sorry, I, I wish I knew what to say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A lot of us feel alone. We're surrounded by so many people. Just all lonely. You know, we just have this profound sense that 
something's missing. I felt loved. I felt safe. She was my home. Oh my God, what if I never have that again? What if I never find that again? Some never even have that. This has got to be the saddest sex I've ever had. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It is. <laughs> Well, tell me that you love me, I don't want to wait outside Cause it's cold and I get lonely out here on this winter night We had a couple things, but we had a couple things So tell me that your heart is mine and I won't fall apart It something with a stupid show, Ed. Yeah, tell me that you love me or just come and break my heart Cause I get scared sometimes I don't know why And it feels like I'm walking on a high wire But tell you the truth, I don't know where to start And the ground seems so far But will you catch my heart? Wow, we've been uh, talking for over three hours. Oh shit, yeah. Ooh, your bill's gonna be high. Nah, don't worry about it. I, I can afford it. Besides, I gotta go to work soon anyways. <laughs> yeah, my shift actually ended an hour ago. Thanks for listening. It's my job. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Julie. Huh? My name's Julie. Thanks, Julie. Take care, John. Yeah, you too. My heart. Like you get scared sometimes, I don't know why. And it feels like I'm walking on a highway. Tell you the truth, don't know where to start, and the ground. Uh-huh.